So the easiest way to do the flambient method, in my personal opinion, is going with the lights off method. Now, let me walk you step by step. So if you're sitting here watching this, get your camera, pause this, get your camera, and set it up on a tripod in your own house, in your living room, wherever, and have me listen to me in the background. I'm gonna walk you through this step by step. This is super easy. The only thing you're gonna wanna have is a single flash. You do not need anything bigger than just your standard, regular, 50 watt flash, okay? So this is what you wanna do. I have everything turned on. I make sure that my camera is set, you know, no no higher than, you know, 400 ISO. Make sure you're a, a decent aperture where everything's gonna be in focus. I'm at 15 millimeters, uh, full, frame, full frame equivalent at like F8, okay? That just guarantees everything's in focus. So for your ambient layer, you want to bring that shutter speed down until your histogram reads right of center. So basically, you wanna make sure that you're exposing properly for the room. Don't worry about blowing out the windows because remember, we're gonna correct for the window view with our flash pop. But with that being said, I always use a flash pop with my ambient layer. So what it's typically been is about 1 16th power. And again, you're gonna have to play around and experiment on your own time. You're gonna have to just practice, practice, practice. I can't stress this enough. Because remember, once you get really good at this, you're gonna get work. You're gonna get work consistently. Because if you're consistent and your work is really good, everybody's gonna be able to rely on you to produce consistent, you know, professional looking real estate images. And so with that being said, let's go back. Ambient layer, make sure you're pushing your exposure just right of center, meaning if you're if you're used to doing HDR, you have your camera doing a zero, a negative two or negative three, and then plus two or, or plus three if you're doing three brackets. That zero mark would be neutral per se. You wanna be just past that for your ambient layer. And then I usually pop a flash off right above my camera to just add in a little bit more light and just fill it in with more of that 5,000, 5,500 Kelvin light. And that's why I go with lights off because now you're not battling hot spots all over the place. If you have can lights or if you have lamps sitting in the room, you can focus on just evenly lighting the room and then dealing with the hot spot, which would be your window view only with your flash. So once we got our ambient layer done and it looks really nice and evenly lit minus the blown out windows, we can bring and bring that shutter speed up until we can see out the window. It doesn't matter if the room is black or dark. We're going to light that with our flash layer. So remember, our ambient layer is going to be our base. And then we're going to paint back in where the hot spot is to even out the entire ambient layer. So once you have your flash shutter speed high enough to where your windows now are exposed, you can see out the window however clear you want your window view, take your flash, typically with me it's about one eighth to one quarter power, and I either walk right over next to the window and pop a flash, making sure that I am myself is not covering the window, or I just reach over my camera and hit it as if I'm doing a window pull and just hit the window with the flash. Now, if there happens to be a glare in the window, move to the other side and shoot it at an angle and just keep it playing around so where you don't have, you have a repair layer for your flash if you get a glare in the window. And that's it. Bring those two layers into Photoshop with the ambient layer on top. Use one layer mask, leave it white. Take your brush tool, make sure black is selected and then paint back in at like a 5% flow on your brush. Paint back in that window view so you can see out the window and the rest of your image is gonna be evenly lit. Your entire image is gonna be evenly lit and that's how I do it. I flatten the image, bring it back into Lightroom and I do some other little tweaks, maybe add some contrast and obviously adjust for my verticals and horizontals, making sure that looks good, crop it down if I need to. But that's it. Leave me a comment below if you have any questions and other tips and tricks that you want to share with the rest of the group, but I appreciate you watching. Hit that subscribe button. I got videos coming out, especially now that things are starting to slow down. We're going to be releasing more and more tutorials. I'm going to do a step-by-step -step walkthrough on exactly how this is done. We'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye-bye.